Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're going to be taking a quick look at Bitcoin. Obviously, big news today, and I want to talk about this specifically. We do take a look at this last hour, a massive drop from about 54.5k all the way down to, you know, 52,000. It really stabilized around there, shot back up, recovered fairly well, and we'll continue to see this, in my opinion, dip down as a lot of people are going to start seeing this tweet. So if you guys don't know much about Elon Musk, he is a big, big pusher of crypto recently. However, recently Tesla has suspended vehicle purchases using Bitcoin. We are concerned about rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions, especially coal, which has the worst emissions of any fuel. Cryptocurrency is a good idea on many levels, and we believe it has a promising future, but this cannot come at a great cost to the environment. Tesla will not be selling any Bitcoin, and we intend to use it for transactions as soon as mining transactions or transitions, sorry, to more sustainable energy. We are also looking at other cryptocurrencies that use less than a percent of Bitcoin's energy transaction at the moment. So if you want to take a look at this, this is a big deal. Obviously, just came out recently. Uh, we can take a look at some of the comments on this, obviously some big names. So we have Pomp coming, uh, kind, of, kind of tweeting back first. He says, Elon, you realize 75% of miners use renewable energy, right? This energy story has been debunked over and over again. Uh, Elkcoin Daily giving it the W2ETF. Uh, David talked about it as well. Doge replacing BTC. It was inevitable. Uh, so a lot of people obviously talking about this. A lot of people upset about this and obviously propaganda taking place here. Um, it's been five minutes. We saw massive, massive decreases. So Dave is talking about it as well. Um, just a lot of big names talking about this. I, I do suspect there will be a lot of movement in the recent prices as well as Bitcoin and cryptocurrency all around uh, You know the cryptoverse. I do expect some big major decreases taking place. You know, Bitcoin's continuing to decrease very, very quickly. We've talked about Bitcoin's dominance really being, uh, you know, I guess less than Stella recently. So if you guys are bit, uh, you know, Bitcoin holders by a large margin, unfortunately, the dominance is continuing to fall. We see a 41% dominance right now. Ethereum is almost at that 20%. Uh, you know, it's just getting worse and worse for Ethereum, or I guess Bitcoin holders at the moment. Uh, you know, we're getting closer and closer to an altcoin season. So I do suspect Bitcoin will easily drop below that $50,000 mark after this. Uh, you know, it may be a slow decrease, but I do suspect under $50,000 is definitely a possibility for Bitcoin. Uh, you know, by this time this video comes out, these prices will have changed just a little bit. I'm assume at the very least, because like I said, so much volatility right now with this most recent tweet, a lot of things taking place. Um, and a lot of people very upset with this most recent tweet from Elon Musk and Tesla. Uh, so we'll continue to really monitor this situation. Like I said, guys, a lot coming in right now talking about, you know, Bitcoin losing dominance. Now at that 41%, we saw it over half, um, yeah, actually over 50% dominance. Just, I forget how long ago that was. It wasn't too long ago that we saw 50% dominance or more from Bitcoin. So, uh, like I said, a big news coming out of Elon Musk and, uh, the Tesla. Let's see if Tesla actually retweeted anything here. Um, I believe they did. Let's go check this out. Uh, so they didn't actually tweet anything out quite yet. I wonder if tw Tesla will actually tweet anything out or if Elon Musk is saying anything more about it. Uh, if we take a look at Elon Musk, um, he does have obviously the big tweet that we just talked about. But if we take a look, um, do you want Tesla to accept Dodge? So a lot of people obviously assuming Dodge may replace Bitcoin in a way here. Uh, that is kind of a scary thought for a lot of people holding Bitcoin that, you know, coins can just flip each other like that. Um, you know, like Bitcoin obviously being, you know, that prize possession, that gold of crypto. Uh, will it continue to drop? Will we see Dogecoin actually take over the entirety of crypto markets? Um, that's something that we'll have to take a look at in the future. Uh, so we see Alexandria Huck. Uh, I'm not sure if I said her name right, but we do see her on the crypto market talking a lot uh, on Twitter. Wow, you change your mind faster than it's uh, chameleon changes colors. Surely this could should be uh, considered before accepting in the first place. Anyway, proof of stake is a great option. Coins like ADA, DOT, etc. Um, I couldn't agree more. I think ADA and DOT are great coins. Um, but like I said, guys, every second we're getting new information coming out, talking more about Bitcoin. And uh, this is pretty crazy. So what caused the change, Mr. Musk, after hyping up the price for so long? Did you not know this before? So that's interesting as well. A lot of people asking the same kind of question. Uh, you know, everyone knew how much Bitcoin, uh, you know, needed to actually be mined. Uh, and like, like a, what was it? I forget his name at the top. Uh, like Pomp said, you know, 75% of miners are using renewable energy. So it's kind of crazy that this would come out at this point in time after he should have had time to realize more of this stuff. Um, and then Greg came out. April Fools was last month on. That is pretty good as well. Um, but Adam Smith, like we said, yeah, it's weird that he's changing his mind after he piped up, you know, 
Bitcoin for so long. Um, obviously, still hyping up Dogecoin, um, but it's very, very interesting to see. You know, please tell us you are replacing it with Dogecoin. So a lot of people excited. Obviously, if you're Dogecoin holders, um, you know this could be definitely big news for you. Okay, okay, but what about Dogecoin versus Safecoin? This is getting wild. It is getting wild. I think the crypto verse as a whole is going to be. It's going to be a crazy altcoin season. It's going to be a crazy bull run for sure. It's not over yet, and I'll tell you that right now. Bitcoin, um, it may be a rough, uh, rough road ahead for Bitcoin, but realistically. This road is just beginning. I think crypto altogether is going to see a great bull run still. Um, a lot of people kind of get worried about this Bitcoin drop, I'm assuming. Uh, but I will say, guys, like I said previously, uh, you know, we've had major, major increases in, you know, mass adoption here with crypto recently. And if we take a look at some of these altcoins that are going to be impacted. So I think, you know, things that uh, really don't have anything to do with Bitcoin, things like Theta or um, things like um well, if you see a theta actually almost below $10, which is pretty, pretty insane. We already had a, a decent dip taking place. And this is affecting all altcoins pretty much in a negative manner as well. If you saw most altcoins on this price charts, if we take a look at the price chart on most of these, they're seeing some major decreases taking place. I will say guys that you know, altcoins realistically won't have too much of an effect due to this Bitcoin announcement by Elon Musk and, you know, Tesla. I do suspect Bitcoin will take a little bit more to recover. Uh, but for the most part, I do, you know, think there will be a lot of investors taking advantage of these dipped down prices, these corrections. And uh, there always is, you know, there's always investors taking advantage of these. And I do think we'll be back to that bull run without any problems sooner rather than later. Uh, going forward, though, like I said, guys, I think these, you know, altcoins are going to continue to do very, very well. Things like Theta and VeChain, um, you know, they're getting absolutely destroyed by this, uh, you know, announcement. If we take a look at the last hour, about 4.5% decrease in VeChain. Um, but realistically, I think, you know, Dogecoin is going to do fairly well against this. Uh, obviously, a Bitcoin, you know, getting kind of smacked around. I think Dogecoin is going to push back up. I think we're going to see a very, very good bounce back above 50 cents for Doge, uh, much higher than that possibly. It's just one of those things where, you know, nobody really wants to see this take place because, you know, everyone's following crypto in, a, you know, most of a positive light recently. So the fact that we're getting a lot of uh, a lot of hate for obviously, um, you know, the renewable energy not being really talked about, unfortunately. Uh, so it's very, very interesting to see this take place. But I wanted, to, like I said, I wanted to talk about how altcoins, in my opinion, will still have a great altcoin season run. I don't think this, you know, announcement as well as if other people start announcing this kind of stuff um, or talking about this kind of stuff about Bitcoin really not being acceptable. I think, you know, some of these other coins are really going to take place, take over. I think we're going to see altcoins do very, very well still. Uh, you know, like I said, guys, the bull run is not over. Altcoin season is still coming. So make sure to always do your own research, guys. This is not finding financial advice. Just wanted to talk about this announcement a little bit with you guys because it was a big deal. So I'll see you guys all in the next one. Make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and like the video. We'll see what happens next, guys. Just want to give you a quick update. Thanks again.